Betelgeuse has been one of the most massive and volatile stars in our night sky, acting like a ticking time bomb, expanding, dimming, and flickering. There have been rumors of a coming supernova circulated for a long time. However, no one could declare whether or not we would ever witness such a colossal end. As of now, just recently, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed the apprehensions of many astronomers, but also what they hoped to see, Betelgeuse began to explode, the death of a star, the most significant natural occurrence in our realized cosmic neighborhood. However, Webb discovered more than the fate of one star. It may hold the key to comprehending how stars die and how life, including ours, begins. Betelgeuse is more than a celebrity. It's a super giant, a massive, unstable behemoth more than 700 times larger than the Sun and 20 times as massive, located in the shoulder of the constellation Orion. Scientists have studied its fluctuations for decades, erratic dimming, sudden outbursts of plasma, and magnetic storms capable of reverberating through space. However, in 2019, it did something no one had anticipated. It faded dramatically. Around the world, telescopes turned their attention to it, wondering if we were observing the final act. However, it did not collapse not yet. Betelgeuse instead resumed its unpredictable rhythm until Webb was launched. Owing to its unrivaled eyes in the infrared, the James Webb Telescope began to study the star in exquisite detail. And what it found was alarming, bubbles of turbulent convection the size of planets bursting on its surface, massive gas plumes escaping into space, and a significant structural change beneath it all that suggested the internal layers were destabilizing. It was not simply dying, it was preparing to collapse. Months of infrared imaging confirmed the truth. The core of Betelgeuse was undergoing collapse, a supernova imminent. Unlike anything previously seen, Webb's sensors penetrated the thick layers of gas and dust that revealed the star's surroundings and intricate cascade of destruction. Plumes of hot, radioactive material were shooting into space. Shockwaves of high velocity were traveling outward, faster than the speed of sound in stellar matter. Furthermore, within that data, scientists found evidence of newly formed heavy elements, the fingerprints of a star disintegrating under its own weight. However, this was not limited to admiring a beautiful and violent event. It was about witnessing the precise physics that underpin the transformation of matter. Webb's access made it possible for astronomers to see how stars create the elements that form planets, oceans, and even human life. Furthermore, because Betelgeuse is only 640 to light years from Earth, in cosmic terms, we are neighbors, observing it with clarity and resolution that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. This is no longer theory, it is real proof of the end of the universe and rebirth. The demise of Betelgeuse isn't just a show of light in the sky, it's a jolt reshaping space itself. Webb's instruments have detected energy ripples caused by gravitation and radiation expanding from the explosion, suggesting it's possible that the supernova has the power to send gravitational waves detectable across the universe. This, if confirmed, would be the first time we've connected an apparent stellar explosion to gravitational wave data, a merging of light and wave that may alter our comprehension of how spacetime reacts to extreme energy events. In addition, the explosion of Betelgeuse could be visible from Earth with the naked eye, brighter than a full moon, even in daytime. This indicates that humanity may soon witness a celestial event that has not occurred in over 400 years. Yet, the impact on science is even greater. By studying the interaction of shock waves with nearby gas clouds, Webb is revealing the origins of the universe's stars with the initial components for future solar systems. Betelgeuse, in its death, is already building the framework for new stars to ascend. However, possibly the most haunting aspect of Webb's discovery is what lies at the center of the disintegration. Most dying stars leave behind a black hole or a neutron star. For Betelgeuse, however, the date do not fit either category perfectly. There are strange disturbances in the magnetic field, gaps in plasma where none should exist, and evidence of material shifting backward instead of being thrown out a process astrophysicists refer to as fallback. 
Currently, some experts believe that something entirely different may be forming from Betelgeuse, a phase change state between a black hole and a neutron star. If this turns out to be the case, then not only has James Webb witnessed a supernova, but it may have documented the birth of an entirely new kind of cosmic object, a relic of a shadow class, something beyond our current models of physics, with the potential to redefine how we comprehend gravity, matter, and perhaps the very nature of time itself. When James Webb's data confirmed Betelgeuse's fate, research facilities worldwide shifted into emergency mode. Telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, Japan, and the Canary Islands were redirected. Antarctica's first neutrino detectors were installed, filtering for rare particles. Referred to as Event Protocol Betelgeuse, the world had never before witnessed a stellar collapse this thorough and this coordinated. The responses were not only scientific, Writers, philosophers, and spiritual leaders began to consider what it means to witness a star's death that ancient civilizations once worshipped. In myth, Betelgeuse was the shoulder of the hunter Orion. In actuality, it is a cosmic fire that created elements that may now be part of our genes. And right now, that firebox is extinguishing. Humanity is more than watching a celebrity die. We are viewing a story that has been told for millennia come to its concluding section in real time. Despite Betelgeuse being 640 to light years away, the energy it's releasing in its final moments is not contained in any way. The ejecta from the supernova is moving at thousands of kilometers per hour, slamming into nearby interstellar gas clouds. Already, these collisions are generating shock fronts, regions where particles are heated, compressed, and compelled to form novel combinations. This process can start the formation of stars in areas that were previously dormant. In other words, Betelgeuse's death may awaken new stars in a chain reaction, lighting up areas of the galaxy we once believed were silent. Even more remarkable is what the James Webb Space Telescope is detecting beyond visible light. X-rays, ultraviolet radiation, and, it seems, gravitational distortions that suggest the very fabric of nearby space is being altered. If Betelgeuse had planets, any of them may now be either thrown into deep space or vaporized. But for us on Earth, the damage isn't physical, it's philosophical. Each and every signal we receive from that explosion tells us we live in a universe that is violently alive. As we examine the demise of Betelgeuse, an uncomfortable question arises, is this what will happen to our sun one day? Even though the sun isn't big enough to go supernova, it will die in a fiery crescendo in about 5 billion years. It, too, will grow to the size of a red giant, consuming Venus and Mercury and possibly incinerating Earth. It will then disintegrate into a white dwarf, its outer layers falling into space in a sluggish, melancholy farewell. Watching Betelgeuse, we're not just studying a different star. We're watching a warning, a prophecy, a fast-forward vision of what all stars, including ours, will one day experience. The James Webb Space Telescope is offering us not just data, but also a glimpse into the future of the universe. Betelgeuse's death is an example of the fate of all suns, the source of life, and the fire that recycles itself into fresh stars. There is a very unsettling quality about watching the universe's power unfold without our control. We like to believe we understand the cosmos that we can predict, calculate, and anticipate. However, Betelgeuse serves as a reminder that we are still newcomers in a universe far older and far more complex than we imagined. The discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope force us to inquire. What else is awaiting discovery? Are we alone in witnessing this? Could there be other civilizations observing a similar event from various angles throughout the universe? Have they witnessed the passing of their own stars, their own legends? Or are we the first to record, catalog, and comprehend this spectacle? And if we are able to watch a star die in such detail, what else might we see next? A collapsing galaxy, a dimension bending, a signal intended for us. 
Perhaps Beetlejuice is not just an ending, perhaps it's an invitation. Beetlejuice exploded, whispered into the distance, and tore through space's stillness to demonstrate to us that even in death, a star can teach. The universe is not a cold expanse of unpredictability, but an area of cycles, of endings that become beginnings, of destruction that seeds life. What the James Webb Space Telescope revealed isn't just data. It's a message written in light, in gravity, in time itself a message we were never supposed to see so clearly. Even so, here we are. We watched a star collapse from the security of our minuscule planet circling a still living sun. We looked into a mirror and saw our origin, our destiny, our insignificance, and our potential. Because if we are able to observe, understand, and record this moment, then perhaps we are not so small after all. Perhaps Beetlejuice did not pass away silently. Perhaps it screamed and we finally heard it. What do you believe Beetlejuice has shown us? Is this the tail end of a huge event or the start of something much bigger? Post your ideas in the comments section. If you think so, please share this video. Science is about more than just numbers. It's about awe. And don't forget to subscribe because this is only the start. The universe is at last speaking and we are finally listening.